Hello gamers! Today's video we're gonna take a look at the recently released official implementation of DLSS for Starfield and answer the question is this any different than mod? Please consider subscribing this channel if you are interested in more DLSS content. In comparisons we are using the same version of NVIDIA DLSS file which Bethesda is using in the new beta patch. As you might already see, there is no obvious quality differences between modded and official implementation, but I found few instances in which we can spot the differences. DLSS mod was allowing us to use presets. I was personally playing on preset F which seems to handle horizontal ghosting better than the preset picked by Bethesda. What a surprise! On the left side you can see DLSS mod preset F on the right, official implementation. And here you can see comparison of all presets in the same scenario. It's hard to say, but I think they picked preset B or C. Sadly, Bethesda didn't give us a possibility to change preset in their implementation of DLSS, but I will show you how to do it anyway. Check description for a link to Nexus Mods website with DLSS tweaks. It's a small tool to control your DLSS better in actually every supporting it title. To install it, and by the way, it works for every DLSS game in the same way, just unpack manually downloaded archive to the folder which contains executable file of the game. Now we are clicking on enable NVIDIA ZIG override and yes, it's safe. It just allows this tool to force DLSS settings we want. Open DLSS tweaks config. We scroll a bit to DLSS presets and for all quality levels we change it to F. Please don't try G because it will crash your game. Is a preset not officially working yet, at least in the Starfield. Then we click save, close our little tool and you can start the game. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing our channel and leaving a thumbs up. Have fun!